everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel um, I promised you guys I would do some kind of what's in my bag let me give you a little disclaimer I am at Mambo Italia at Lavington Curve they were kind enough to open a little early for me to come do this because I had another interview with Ambassador Tagla Lorupe which we'll see for Janice 10 questions at some point and um, Need a, needed a baby friendly location because I've come with Huru he's somewhere playing in the background um, and so that's why I brought my stuff from home ideally I think these videos should be done in the house so let me just call this part one I will do a part one of some of the essentials I'm thinking about carrying to hospital for baby and me and then a part two the one I'll do at home I think will be a bit more detailed so I hope you're okay with that and I want to dive right into it um, before I do a lot of you had questions about my hair thank you for your wonderful compliments in terms of the treatments i use um Kera Kera or mizani is what i usually use and for relaxer sometimes vital is it vital if it's not by the way don't judge me v-i-t-a-l-e that's how you spell it i don't really purport talking up products but those, that's what i use i thought it was fair to tell you and thank you again for your compliments i know when i start breastfeeding i don't know if i'm gonna be able to have as healthy hair so i'm gonna hold on to it in the meantime right so what's in my bag so for me some of the essentials that I used last time that I will again is first of all a pair of comfortable pajamas I love this pair um, so those are the pants but the reason why it's a good option is because of the shirt so I can still breastfeed you know um, and so this helped me a lot last time in hospital I mean a lot of the time you spend time in the hospital gown but towards the end, I was wearing my PJs and loving it. So I do not go without my PJs. I carry tons of cotton wool, even though I know it's available in hospital. I literally go with it like this, full. Because postpartum bleeding, cleaning yourself, cleaning the baby, this just really, really comes in handy. So that's another essential for me. Um, what else, what else, what else? This. Oh, and this cute teddy. I'm coming to baby just now. These are maternity pads here we go I don't want to I'm not necessarily talking about the Avent brand because there's also Medela and a ton of others but these really helped me last time so I don't know I don't go anywhere without these the other thing that I will show you when I do my part two is obviously my maternity pads the choice of pads that I use and why they're super comfortable and very discreet right okay so that's that and then, um, look at this that I bought. Maybe I'll unbox it for you next time, but let's see. How cool is that? So, I know that initially it's pretty hard to, depending, I'm praying, again, I'm really praying I, I go natural, but in the event that I do a CS, it's not like I'll be able to easily carry baby. But this I bought because of the convenience of carrying the baby during practicing in hospital, but also post-birth when I'm in the house trying to get something for myself when I'm walking around, going for a hospital visit. I tried it on and I loved it. And it's so cute. I got this from um, Taji store in Junction Mall. Pretty pricey. And I'm sure you can find them in other places. Um, but that's what, I, that's what I got. A lot of this stuff, by the way, like these ones and the cotton wool and all, I got from Sunu's on Biashara Street because that place is just the future. Maternity bra. So can't go anywhere without this trying to see if I can you know it's easier to unclip it there we go so that I also carry with me everywhere it's also fantastic for breastfeeding and I think you can get these from a lot of stores that sell inner wear so that's another essential for me and then of course the usual toiletries you know your shower gel your deal your powder your oils but I know these ones I'm like if I don't have them I, I, I don't function very well and then for baby let me see if I can I carried this just because I really want baby to already have fun. This was a gift, by the way, and I'm going to link over here where they're from. This was part of what I got from um, my surprise baby shower from the Better for Kenya team. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff I got from them, and I think I'll include it in my part two video. And this was one of them. So cute. I love it so much. This will be for the newborn. Um, this receiving blanket which was also gifted to me. This is so important because you need to wrap them up real nice and cozy when they're born. Um, this was gifted to me, but I'm sure I can mention other places you can get them. Right, so these, 
fantastic for when the baby's just been born because of the umbilical cord. I got this from Sunus, I got a bunch of them. And I use this for Huru as well. By the way, there's a lot, a lot of stuff of Hurus that the newborn is going to use. Um, and so I kept them really well. These are the ones I couldn't find though. So that's why I got, decided to go to Biashara Street and get a few more. So these are super essential guys. If you haven't gotten them, if you're on that journey, it's probably the first, the first few days, this is what baby will wear because like I said, because of the um, um, umbilical cord and the belly button, it's easy to just remove and clean. I live for rompers and onesies, so this one's pretty cute. I don't know if it's a little big for newborn. You've noticed a lot of my colors are neutral, huh? I ain't about to do a gender reveal. And even with Huru, a lot of the stuff that we bought him was beige or white. Um, whether it's a girl or boy, these are colors that can go really well. So this was also from Sunus. I got a ton of them. Um, this cloth, also from Sunus. You can either put it there, or when you're changing the baby, put it down. So. I, found, I find them super versatile and I still have all the ones that I bought for Huru. I just added one or two more for the newborn. So there we go. Um, oh and this. I love this. This was gifted as well. Absolutely love this with the little foot. I know it looks a wee bit big. But this is like for maybe one couple of weeks old, right? Love this. And of course a burping cloth as well. So these ones again just to put over here. Socks. These were gifted to me by Mom in Balance. They are so adorable. They're so cute and tiny. I haven't even removed them from the packaging, so I hope you can see them. Super tiny, but very important in case you want them to just wear the little vest and a pair of socks. Again, white. Wet wipes. Although I believe more in cotton wool than wet wipes at this stage, it's just something important to have handy in case you're not able to have access to the right products this is just a really great safety backup um, so wet wipes and then washcloths face washcloth six pieces a set so you'll see there's blue there there's different colors but really really good <laughs> sorry as my visitor comes <laughs> one second so these are the washcloths and that's pretty much going to sum up my part one guys I know that you might be thinking Janet really like really that's all you tell us but this is this is the beginning of the second part that I want to do with you. But I just thought it was important to mention a few of those products. Um, let me know what else you want me to mention and what else that you have in your hospital bag. The way I do it is I have one suitcase and I put my stuff and the baby stuff. I don't do this thing for carrying multiple bags. There will be a bag on hand just for super essentials, but I pack one suitcase. It worked really well last time. I think it will work well this time. Um, yeah, so due date is almost here. I think by the time this video goes up, I'll be... 37 weeks which is insane it's like a week away from the baby coming anytime and so yeah I'm right in the middle of putting stuff together at home so I think the next time you see me I'll do a unpackaging unpacking video in the house with other essentials so thank you for your time and for watching and I guess I'll catch up with you guys next time bye